Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner here, Overtime Athletes. Uh, got a training session for you guys today. Um, we got my man Bo back. Bo Sif. Last week we did some GPP. This week we got a chance to be able to obviously film him. Um, you'll see kind of initial phase. He's somebody who's been with me for quite some time now, so I know that um, I'm able to kind of advance him. A lot of the other guys in this class will start to trickle in over the next month or so, but I get a little time with them. I'm gonna do a little bit of testing with them, see where he's at. Um, we've already kind of been talking, reviewing essentially what we want to do with this offseason. Last offseason was a lot about absolute strength. You guys saw it. I mean, his numbers were, he went through the roof. I mean, he was able to, he put like, what do you put, like 385 on your back? At the end of it, he ended up putting like 385 on his back, squatting that. His, you know, his pull was, was really strong. His push was really strong. Um, so this year, a lot of what we're trying to do is just make that body as efficient as possible, as fast as possible. You know, one of the knocks on him was they were wondering if he could play shortstop, and he's completely obliterated that myth. He's, he's ex extremely agile, especially with his size. He's got a lot of power. So we just kind of want to facilitate that. As you'll see, as I kind of go along, we'll start to discuss some of the things we want to do as far as progressing him. Um, and what our focuses are, and I'll show you those through these videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I want to do is just be able to get that time, uh, get that time from both of you. So let's build up. It's the first one. You got to go about 75%, 80%, whatever. Do what it is you got to do. Set yourself up. Run through. You, I want to see. I should see a consistently better time than when we started. You, I just want to get a baseline. Get the shoulders out front, that's all you're doing. Huh, not bad. I think first movement is popping off that leg. Both legs are activated, but you don't want to roll and then drive off this leg. You want to be able to get that pop off this leg. Load both hips. Don't think here, think shoulder. You're not swaying into it. It's a, if I said dive in the pool from where you're at, you wouldn't sway around and then jump. You would literally, exactly. That's, the, that's why I said the first movement is just getting out there. Don't overthink it. This drill is just gonna be a lateral push to sprint. My biggest thing is I want you focusing on driving off this leg, right? So we wanna be able to get that pop off that outside leg. You're getting, you're getting push off this leg and it's almost like this leg is pulling. Does that make sense? So in order for us to do it, you're gonna line up. It's here, it's one, two, sprint. Okay, so on the third one, that third push, stay low here and cross over and then run through 10. Push, push, go. Push, push, go. Hey, we're going four sets, four sets of A, a skips for 10 yards. I just want to work the reflex in the top speed. Okay, so when I say reflex, I want to focus on pulling up and popping down. Between that five and 10 yard, until about seven yards, you're gonna focus on popping the thigh and pulling down with the other one. And then you're gonna break it off these next five yards into actually cycling. So the main focus that I'm looking for here is think of it as a straight leg pull where you're actually using your glutes, but now you're bent here and you're thinking about popping that thigh and being able to pull the turf away from you. Pop, 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 pop. It's that scissor action. Uh, 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 good. What I want, elbows in tight, 
pull this band tight here, driving out. One Mississippi pause, you got 10 of them. Then you're coming down to the ground. We're going wide cuffs all the way up. Retract the shoulder blade, come all the way up. Touch the butt, or I mean touch right above your butt. Come all the way back down and down, that's one. You got 10 of them, let's go. Push the pace, think push the pace, all right? So number one right here, we're going dumbbell neutral grip from here, driving straight up, okay? Neutral grip, driving straight up. We got four sets of eight. In between that set of eight, you're gonna go right over here, you're gonna grab your band, right? Wrap it around. I want elbows at 90 and armpits at 90. Boom, come in here, I'm locked back here. Pulling my shoulder blades back. Two movements, here, single arm row. I want feet even, hand out, drive. All right, from here, 80 charm, cool. Number two, you're coming right here, high band row, watch me. Tight here, I don't want any rotation. Here, drive down hard, controlled back, it's eight reps. Hey, it's explosive row, it's an explosive row, let's go. We're going wide snatch. If you gotta use a little hip, that's fine. You did this last week. Here, straight elbows, drive up, all right? It's external rotation with a rear delt. Number two, band scarecrows. Watch me right here. Coming right here. Stagger stance. Elbows stay locked. I don't wanna see them bend anymore. Go wide, scarecrow. Bam, bam. You got 20 of them, all right? Then you're gonna go on your knees here. Band tricep extensions from your knees though. There you go, good shit. So that's it for today, you guys get to see this phase. You guys got them coming in, get a little test on their numbers, a little brief, little kind of see how they get started with the upper body, um, kind of bounce with the push and pull, as well as a little bit of band work for a little bit of hypertrophy, a lot of scap work, trying to retract that scapula. Uh, these guys have obviously played season where you know everything is very forward, throwing a lot, so try to take them out of those patterns, build up the antagonists of those patterns. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you guys next time.